Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Central Michigan Stacker. Glad you could make it with me today. I did a short video yesterday uh, showing a few things that I received in the mail uh, through a mail call. And one of them was this beautifully toned 1992, they call it rainbow toning when you can see the reds and the blues and and greens and whatnot um, within the the toning of the coin I like to call it oil can toning there's some of it right there along the edge uh, but a lot of people call it rainbow toning this is a 1992 American Silver Eagle and a lot of times you really don't see these coins um, toning up like this. Here's one that's got some beautiful purple and and blues in it. This came out of a four coin set from, what is it, 2004. And I think being in the cardboard that it was in somehow leached these colors onto the coin itself. But, like I say, the American Silver Eagles unlike the the morgans and we'll say the peace dollars of the 1800s and early 1900s you don't you don't see these american silver eagles usually uh tone up with this uh oil can toning or the rainbow toning as a, as a lot of people like to call it but there's some purple in this one and blues and and reds and the back is just pristine you know not a not a color to be had. Um, what I was talking about in my short yesterday was I was going to um, turn you on to a few of the sites on Facebook uh, that I use um, buying silver and gold, purchasing it like you know online and a lot of people will tell you, you know, you have to do your due diligence and, and be careful with what you're buying and, and who you're buying it from when you're purchasing precious metals online because, you know, obviously there's a lot of scammers out there. And I'll, I'm going to go into a little story that happened to me uh, purchasing a 10-ounce bar online. And I'll tell you what happened exactly. And I, I can tell you how to steer clear and avoid it from happening to you and what happened to me was I was going through one of the many sites that I that I buy silver and gold from like I said on Facebook and there's other platforms that you can that you can buy the stuff on you can go on to Instagram or um, snapchat or here and there or wherever you want to go but I do a lot of it on Facebook just because I'm on there you know quite a bit and I've got a reputation on a few of the sites for buying and selling. You know, I'm a, a reputable seller. I've got uh, quite a few sales under my belt and I've bought quite a bit. So, um, and what it's about is it's about having references, honestly. You have to, like I said, do your due diligence and you have to make sure that whoever you're buying from, if you're buying silver and gold online, that they have references it's that simple I mean um, the sites they, they do a good job of vetting the people that they allow on but I'm telling you the scammers out there they've they've got their ways I mean they're sneaky they they haven't become and and they're not scammers um, just by accident you know they've they've figured out and they've got ways that they use to get your money you know that's what they want they want your money that's all they want they're not interested in giving you anything they're not interested in anything but getting your money plain and simple and what had happened to me was you know i was going through a few of the sites and and i noticed a beautiful 10 ounce Inglehard bar well the person that had them up there for sale had two or three of them and it was an excellent deal, you know, not not too far of a deal to, to imagine it to be, you know, a scam, but it was a good deal. However, 
one of the main things that they do on on the sites is they they post a picture of whatever they have along with uh, the date and their name you know a piece of paper with their date and their name on it to prove that it's actually you know theirs and it's relevant time and, and place this is another thing I received in the mail the other day however I was so excited over the deal that I completely missed the fact that there was no there was no piece of paper with the the person's name date time nothing like that on it whatsoever and so that was my fault completely I got right on there I started messaging the person you know asking about what type of payment they would take uh, cash app or PayPal, Venmo, whatever, you know, they use. Uh, they had one that I used. I believe it was Cash App. So I went ahead and and made the purchase. Well, a couple days later, I got a message from someone asking me, hey, did you purchase one of those 10-ounce Inglehard bars from uh, so-and-so? And I said, yeah, that I had made the purchase. And and the gentleman messaged me back and said, well, I hope, uh, I hope it comes through for you because I just got my package in the mail and it ended up being uh, pretty close to 10 ounces, but it was a bunch of, of field stone pebbles. And my stomach just sunk. I was, don't even tell me that. And he's like, well, I'm telling you the truth. So it was a scam. And I, I just got sick to my stomach. And a day or two later, sure enough, there's my package. And, you know, it it felt heavy. I mean, you know, 10 ounces is only six, six short of a pound. So it felt like it was heavy and it felt like it'd be in there. And sure enough, I opened up that package and, and that's exactly what I got. I mean, I, they go to the extent of actually sending you rocks in the mail. To make it seem like there's something in there. I mean, what a low life piece of garbage that is that would do something like that. But like I said, they're scammers and that's what they're out there to do. They're out there to scam you. They're out there to get your money. But I just couldn't believe that the person sent me, you know, rocks. I mean, why even go through the... Why even go through the trouble of sending anything? I mean, if you have my money already why send me anything? It doesn't even make sense. All it does is rub salt in the wound, I think. And and maybe that's what the purpose behind, you know, sending me the rocks was. Just a, just an extra jab, like, ha ha, I got your money, and here you go. Here's some, here's some frickin' rocks to go along with it. Just rubbing salt right in the wound, like I said. But uh, you live and you learn. You know what I mean? I haven't made any other mistakes like that. To date, thank goodness, I've been a little smarter, a little wiser. I mean, sometimes you've got to, sometimes you've got to, you know, make a few mistakes before you figure out the way these these people run their scams. This is a beautiful uh, first year 1990 kookaburra, uh, and it's got some some purplish toning around the rim of it. The queen side of the coin has got some some purple toning as well. Uh, there's not a lot of toning here, but there's some. And these these coins here, these 1990 kookaburras are prone to toning because I have a few more of them. And, and that's what I've noticed is, is they get a purple purplish color tone around the rim of them. It's kind of hard for my little camera to pick it up here, but you can kind of see it there. Um, but yeah, like I said, I haven't had any other um, scams or problems as far as, as buying things off of these sites on Facebook. This is a beautiful, majestic double eagle. They made a thousand of them. I've shown this on a few other videos that I've done, but I like to put it out there every now and then and give people a gander. There's a few cool little security features on this too, uh, right in the eye of the eagle on this side. There's a, a few little things in there. You've got to actually 
pick it up with a loop. And that's another thing everyone should have. If you're going to be, if you're going to be uh, buying and selling, you know, silver online or wherever, you should get yourself a loop uh, to get an accurate and and uh, noteworthy account of exactly you know what you're purchasing. You're able to pick up a lot of things that the naked eye really doesn't see. Uh, with a loop. So if you don't have one, you should get one for sure. And as I said in my short, I was going to, to turn you guys on to a few of the sites. And uh, what a few of them are, I've got it written down here. Um, this is a nice little coin I picked up. I'm not sure. I think I already put it up here, but just a little baby tiger. The Korean, a coin for Korea there. But a few of the sites are Apex Gold and Silver Bullion. I've got USA Silver, Gold, and Platinum. Another Facebook site is Precious Metals Buy, Sell, Trade. Another is Gold and Silver Seekers. And then I'm also on Stackaholics, Apex Gold Silver Bullion, and Bullion Stacker Silver Bugs. Those are a few of the sites that I'm on on Facebook. And like I said, they do a good job of vetting the people that are on there. But every now and then, you're going to get yourself a scammer. You just have to be careful. You have to do your due diligence and make sure, you know, ask for, uh, ask for references. You know, have they sold to other people? How long have they been on the site? They're, and if they have a problem with giving you any of that, well, understand you may be talking to a scammer. You've got to be careful. It's your money, and you've got to be careful on how you're spending it and where you're spending it. I mean, there's a lot of awesome sites on Facebook that that have a lot of really cool things for sale. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention was um, a lot of the people that are on the sites on Facebook, you're thinking that you're just dealing with a person um, selling maybe a coin or um, a tube of coins or whatever it may be. But a lot of times uh, the people that are on there actually run businesses. And when you're purchasing something or you're, you're binning on it, buy it now, they call it B-I-N. When you're doing that, they expect to be you know paid promptly. They're not wanting you to uh, commit to something and say you want to buy it and then take three or four days or whenever your paycheck comes through or whatever to end up purchasing it then. You know, you, they expect prompt payment when you're bidding on things. There's uh, certain things they have. Uh, they call it buy it now. Um, there's another thing that they call a 24-hour auction. And what will happen is they put something up for auction. They give you a starting bid. And then... 24, uh, within 24 hours time, if no one else bids on it, you're the winner. However, on those 24 hour auctions, if uh, someone else bids along that timeline, it goes back to starting another 24 hour time frame. So it might be down to the 22nd or 23rd hour, you know, and all of a sudden someone will bid and boom, it goes all the way back to the start which is kind of nice. It gives other people a chance to, to look at the stuff and, and have a chance to buy it. This is something I picked up on one of those Facebook sites. This is a 10 ounce Britannia 2021. You know, and I did my research. I made sure this person was a reputable seller and had plenty of sales under their belt and had... Um, you know, the people behind him that were willing to vouch and say, yeah, he's he's trustworthy and whatever, because no one likes to send out two, three, four hundred dollars. I mean, I've sold 
$2,000 gold coins on these sites. You know what I mean? Uh, one ounce gold buffaloes. I've sold St. Gaudens, you know, $20 gold pieces. And nobody likes to put that much money on the line without having references and, and doing a, a good background check on whoever they're dealing with. And, of course, you should. That's just the way it goes. Uh, I did my, like I said, due diligence on this one. Uh, it was a good deal. But when you throw $300 out there for something, you have to make sure you're dealing with professionals and people that are actually have the product and you're going to get it in the mail. Or if you don't, you're going to end up getting something in the mail that could be nothing but pebbles, field stone, that weighs out to similar, you know, to the weight of... And like I said, I don't even know why the person did that, but I guess it was maybe just to add a little salt to the wound. Who knows? But ha-ha, they got one over on me. It'll never happen again, but that's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. Um, but whatever. Those are a few of the sites that I use. Feel free to check them out on Facebook. Uh, you know, drop me a, a comment. Let me know. If you uh, look them up, tell me uh, if you found anything you might like in those sites. Like I said, do your due diligence. Make sure they've, they've got people that will back them up, that they've got references and whatnot before you do any buying. And have a good time doing it. I mean, we all love buying gold and silver. Prices are down right now. It's the time to buy. As far as I'm concerned, that's what I'm doing. Um... But I am not a financial advisor, so, you know, spend your money wisely. Central Michigan Stacker, and I'm out.